Well, hello there, parents. My name is Eric Griffith, and I'm a former tech director now working for Mobile Tech Services, and I am also a parent, and I feel obligated to put together a series of videos to help us parents better navigate Google Classroom with our kids and teachers and just give us a better understanding of how all of this works. So I'm going to be producing uh, several videos here. You'll see them uh, over here on this side. It'll say quick parent video part, whatever and it's going to cover the topics on the side. So my goal is to make these quick videos so that you can watch them when you have time. Uh, and so I hope that they're helpful. The first thing I'm going to talk about is getting started with Google Classroom, which Google Classroom is nothing more than an online interactive syllabus uh, for our teachers to deliver content to the students. The school most likely provided you an email address. And what that email address is is actually a Google um, G Suite account, right? So it's the same as like a personal Google account. You might have a personal Gmail account, but it's a lot more secure, it's filtered, and they've branded it with their school name and logo on there, all right? So let's talk about the best way to log into Google Classroom. For one, being a parent, uh, I find that it's best to have a device dedicated to do this for the kid. It could be their Chromebook or a tablet or something like that. As long as they can get to classroom.google.com, that's the best. Uh, and again, make sure it's, it's dedicated to that because they tend to wonder uh, and claim they're doing other things when they are supposed to be doing their schoolwork. So if your school provides you with one, that's great. Most likely it's a Chromebook or an iPad. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started walking you through how to log in with that account. Let's go ahead and jump over to my desktop here. You're going to want to navigate to classroom.google.com. Once you're there, you're going to click on this Google Classroom button. And if you have already signed in with your, your student account, that's great. However, if you see your parent account right there, you don't want to log in with that. Uh, fun fact, this is not intended for parents. It's only intended for students to log in. I've got a tip in the next video that talks about how you, the parent, can stay in constant communication with the teacher there. So I'm going to click log in with the student account. We'll type in the password. And we'll go ahead and sign in. So as soon as we sign in, there's just three different ways uh, I had listed over here that we can enroll into our class. There's three different ways the teacher can do this. The first is by emailing out an enrollment link. So when you click on that, it's just going to prompt you to join into Google Classroom like we did just a few minutes ago. The second is the way I'm going to show you right now. It's where the teacher sends an email to that student email and it automatically enrolls them. The third is to join a Google Class code, and that's gonna complete this video. So let's walk through how to enroll our kid. Again, there's three different ways to do it. Teachers can do it any way they want. I'm hoping that it's consistent for you. So in this uh, scenario, what we have here is the enrollment where the, the teacher has sent out an email to that Google, uh, to that student's Google Classroom our Google email account, all right? And so all they have to do is click on join. And as soon as they click join, it enrolls them in the class, okay? So what's probably going to happen is they're going to have to, and then this, this guide pops up and wants to walk the student through how everything works, which I will gladly show you guys in the next video. But what's gonna happen is most likely every teacher has their own Google Classroom for every subject. And they've sent this out and you'll have to join multiple classrooms. Um, some districts might only have one per teacher. Others might have one per subject with multiple uh, teachers teaching it, right? The other way, the third and final way that you can enroll inside of a classroom is once the student is logged into Google Classroom, up here at the top, they'll click join. And then right here, this uh, message pops up and it says class code. So they may have emailed you a code and you just have to type in that code and you'll enroll in the class. So three different ways to do it. Um, I hope that that was helpful in this getting started part one guide. I'll hope to see you in the next one uh, when we talk about navigating Google Classroom. So thanks. And if this video helped you out, give me a thumbs up. Thanks and have a great day.